What's up YouTube? Before we jump into this video, make sure you go check out the budgeting planner I created for truckers called the Financial Planner for Truckers, available on Amazon or download it at chrisleytv.com. Enjoy the video, fam. What is up? What is up? What is up? It is your boy Chris Lee TV back again with another video. Uh, as you can see by the title in this video, I'll be talking about how to make extra money outside of trucking. Um, I know a lot of guys have requested this video. I talked about it like two videos ago. Yesterday I did a live and kind of hyped it up a little bit about me dropping this video today. Um, and it is something that I see that you guys are really interested in. Um, I'm, I was very interested in, in it at my, with myself at one point in time. And that's what got me as far as like starting to do things like this, as far as figuring out little things that I can do to make money outside of the trucking industry. Um, one thing I always say is that like someone, I think I read like once upon a time, someone said that um, you, you you can make money while you sleep. So I took that upon myself to like figure out exactly what they were talking about and how to do it. If they said like it was possible, then I had to figure it out. Right. So that's what I'm bringing to you guys today. Um, I have tons of tips, tons of uh, just information on just little ways to make more money outside of the truck. So um, some of these things I'm doing myself, um, some of these things that I'm interested in doing also. So I'm gonna go ahead and share these things with you guys now. Um, since it's in my vicinity, you know what I'm saying, it's right here. Uh, one of the things that I'm gonna start with was investing in myself, right? I invested in um, Audible. I invested in like just learning about finances, learning about just different things. Um, I bought, um, a book from Erica Williams is called The Smartphone Investor. And that's what helped me, like, kind of guided me also on, like, just finding these little, like, just different things to invest in. So I started first, like I said, I invested in myself. I spent money on just building up my knowledge on, you know what I'm saying, just learning how to, the mindset of behind saving money and budgeting and things like that. Because if you don't have any money, if you don't know how to save money, you don't know how to budget. Uh, what, where we, how will you, you know what I'm saying, invest in these like just different methods, right? If you don't, if you can't keep track of your money, keep track of the cash or stuff like that, like, you know what I'm saying? Don't, you can't put the cart in front of the horse, right? So one of the first things that you have to do, um, is kind of invest in that self-knowledge, right? So, so like just buying, buying books and just figuring out, you know what I'm saying? How to, how to do these types of things, like books that tell you where to put this money, um, that tell you and give you insight on things that we're going to talk about in this video but knowledge was one of the first things i had to do was change my mindset um so <clears throat> one of the first things one of the second things that i did after my mindset was um figured out like what kind of products i was into like what what was i um you know what i'm saying like did i want to make what did i want to do with my uh with the knowledge that i had accrued like so one of the things that I did was I made a book. You guys know that I have the Financial Planner for Truckers. Uh, this is this is IP. You know what I'm saying? I use my intellectual uh, property, my, my mindset. I, I changed it. I made a book for planner. I made a plan for truckers. And what that did was it created a way for me to make passive income. Uh, not only to help truckers, but a way to make passive income. So at any point in time given throughout the day while i'm asleep while i'm awake or if i'm sick or if i'm healthy or if i'm working out or if i'm in the shower right somebody can go to my website go to amazon.com they can buy that book and that's a way for me to get paid so me saying that is there are uh tons of ideas that people have that you have that you can put into a book, like things that you think about that no one else thinks about, things that you do that people don't know about or they don't have that, uh, that you know what I'm saying, that, that frame of mind that you have about a certain subject, right? Everyone has something that they know that is specific to them that they, they can put out and put into the book, into a book or into the world, um, into a blog, into a website, into a YouTube channel. Uh, everyone has these things that they can do and you know what I'm saying that's that's another way to make income uh, so if you're looking to make extra money outside the truck th those are some ways like I said uh, intellectual property as far as a YouTube channel a book um, a blog you can put affiliate links in a blog and I'm gonna move on to the next thing is affiliate marketing so say you don't 
want to create something uh, as far as like, you don't want to sit down and have to really think about creating something that will take like a whole lot of time out of your day. Um, you can become an affiliate market marketer. So if you're on Facebook and um, you're an Amazon affiliate marketer, right? You can sign up, you can go to amazon.com and become an affiliate affiliate uh, marketer for Amazon, right? And then what that means is just like anything that you promote from Amazon, if someone clicks on your link, so you're promoting, you, you're talking about, a, you, you know what I'm saying, a toaster that week and people are asking you like, hey, where'd you get that toaster from? You, you now are an affiliate for Amazon. You post that link to your toaster. They click that link, even if they buy the toaster, if they don't buy the toaster, if they buy then like dog food, if they buy microphones or if they buy a uh, Rolex watch off of Amazon, right? You get a commission off that no matter what they buy because they use your link to go to Amazon. Uh, other affiliate links are like uh, Rakuten Advertisement, uh, ClickBank, uh, and those are some other things that you can um, use as far as like getting a, a link uh, that uh, will refer, you know what I'm saying, it's like a referral link, right? And that will always generate you money if when people click on your link. If, if you have a blog and you have links in your blog, if you have a YouTube channel, you have links in your YouTube channel, if you have a Facebook or Instagram, and people are always asking you like, hey, where'd you get this, where'd you get that? You can have a link in your bio to that item, right? And that will generate you some money, whether you, like I said, no matter what you're doing. Um, <clears throat> so I have a list actually on my phone. Uh, so affiliate links, uh, investing. So I, like I said, after reading this Mark Millionaire, I invested in uh, like peer-to-peer -peer marketing. So I invested, I put $1,000 in Lending Club just to kind of see what it did. Um, I put money in, and, and you know what I'm saying? You get a return on that just by uh, lending people money through the uh, peer to peer um, website lending club. So I put a thousand dollars on lending club and people who borrow like $25, $35, $60, excuse me. Grab some water. So people who borrow that money, they have to pay it back at an interest or pay it back with interest. And you know what I'm saying? I, I thought that was dope. Um, I'm not, a, you know what I'm saying? You have, I'm not a financial advisor and I'm not also afraid to experiment with my money and see uh, what will work and what, not, what won't work. You know, it's a really a risk and reward type of thing when you're doing things like this. So do be careful. But uh, Lindy Club was one of the things I did uh, put some money into. Uh, I do invest in... What else did I buy? Like, and these 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 are things that I feel like we'll appreciate. So, like buying silver coins and, um, just you know, what I'm saying different things like that. I, uh, I also invested in a vending machine. Right, I have vending machines, and I I don't think this is a way that you can like make money outside of trucking. It's like vending machines and renting cars and having. Uh, rental property uh, some of these things will take um, a big investment and you'll have to have like maybe a partner or someone who's able unless you're like doing driving locally but things happen with these investments where you'll have to um, sometimes have someone there to take care of it right so uh, when when you're investing in things like that do think about like who you can have on your team who you can have on your side who you can hire to help you with these things, those types of things. So, uh, but those are things that I, I do invest in. Um, those are things that I think are really cool. Um, also, one of the things that I wanna start getting into is like sports cars. I see people buying sports cars and like Pokemon cars. And this is stuff that I did when I was growing up, but I threw everything away because it was just like, you know what I'm saying? When I moved out of my mom's house, I was just like, what do I need this stuff for? Not even thinking that this stuff would, um appreciate and value and like become like things that would what is it like the cycle would come back around and, and people would still buy that stuff so like uh sports websites like sports collectors hub and sportscarcasino.com uh, those are just sites that you can go to and you know what I'm saying buy buy cards and buy different um you know what I'm saying 
collectibles that, like I said, they can increase in price. Uh, you have to have some knowledge of these things, but that's that's another way to you know, so just make extra money outside of the trucking. Uh, that's like a slow grind. A lot of these things, like it's not fast money, right? A lot of these things aren't fast money and a lot of these things require you to uh, have like feet on the ground. So like I said, I invested in Lending Club. I invested in like just precious metals, um, mindset. Um, I have affiliate, affiliate. I'm affiliated with um, RTS. Uh, RTS is a finance, fi, fuel, fuel and factoring service for truckers. Um, so doing things like that, and um, th those are the really good ways to make some extra money outside of trucking. This is stuff that anybody can do. Um, what is another thing? Um, so cash back rewards on like credit cards and things like that. Um, <clears throat> so like I said, with the whole like just being whatever, if you have auto payments set up on like a credit card, right? And that credit card has a really good cash back rewards or say you like whatever rewards you like getting on your credit card. It could be like a hotel or whatever, but I like cash back. So my cards are all catered and geared towards getting cash back. So I all all my all, I keep all my you know what I'm saying all the money in my bank account, and I keep my credit cards paid off. But I use when I use my money, it's like buy fuel, or you know what I'm saying I just bought uh, this iPhone. I use my credit card because it was a cash back, and I was able to get points. You know what I'm saying rewarded. I was able to get rewarded cash back when I made this purchase. And then also like my phone bill, it comes off, off the card every month. So if it's a cashback card, like when that phone bill hits, and it's already paid, I get my cashback rewards. And what I have to do is just go back and pay the pay the card off, right? That that requires being responsible. You gotta be responsible. You gotta make sure you're making those payments on time and you're doing two things. <clears throat> you're building your credit and then you're also getting that cashback reward. So I think that's a very dope way to, you know what I'm saying? Just, just, you know what I'm saying, to think outside the box on how to make extra money, you know what I'm saying, outside of that truck. Um, there are also some, uh, like, affiliate websites I wanted to mention. Uh, you can get, like, cash back on, like, uh, lettyshops.com uh, and joinhoney.com. These these are not affiliates to my channel, but like I said, some of these, some of these are affiliates and some aren't. Um, but... Uh, with these things, like you can shop at like Sam's Club or you can shop at just different uh, stores, right? And when someone uses your link, then um, you know if they buy that item, then you get a what you call it for that? You get a kickback. So I see like lots of things on Twitter. Uh, there's a lot of pages on Twitter, and they're just like not spam pages but they're like i don't know if like would call it a meme page or a spam page right but all they do is post like deals like deal finder like hey these shoes are on sale like and if you click that link like all oh, those shoes are nice i've done it before like i've seen like some new balances and i was just like dang these are some nice shoes and i know if i click that link they're gonna get a kickback all they're doing is going in giving it a short description you know what i'm saying you can set all this up um, on like your phone and schedule it through a, a scheduling software, just where you're just like, like, say Saturday and Sunday, or you're on a 34 hour reset, you go in and you're a part of like Letty Shops or uh, Join Honey or another uh, app like Amazon, and you're you, you niche down, right? And you sell uh, kitchenware, right? Go with me on this. You sell kitchenware, so this page is all about kitchenware. And uh, every time you say you see a sale on some kitchenware, you set it up, boom, boom, go on your phone, and get a link off of one of these sites. Make a short description about it, post it, and then you're done. You know I'm saying, let them know, hey, this is a percentage off. This is the sale. You don't even have to put the prices. Just like make it like uh, to where it's click worthy. Like someone wants to click. And someone, you know, what I'm saying a lot of, I see a lot of these things being posted, like in the, in the the like 
after hours when people are asleep. That's when people, you know what I'm saying, those infomercials used to come on as a kid and you buy like a sham wow. But that's when people are buying stuff. Like my, I had a grandma, like she used to watch QVC while I was playing with my Hot Wheels cars and she watched like QVC and Murder, She Wrote. And she would buy stuff on QVC. I'm saying she would buy stuff for the kids, for the house and all that stuff. People like people still do this stuff. <clears throat> so cash back rewards. Um, the next one is buying land and buying real estate. Uh, you can buy land and buy real estate off of the phone now. You know what I'm saying? Everything you want to do now, you can do it off of a phone. Um, there are websites. I don't have any websites to buy land or buy real estate. Uh, you can you can use, even buy like you can purchase real estate through REITs, real estate investment uh, trust, I think it is, and it's just like a a a, a business. They go out and they buy like uh, you know what I'm saying residential, um, multifamily or uh, commercial real estate, and then every time they get paid of rent, you know what I'm saying they pay you, and then you can reinvest it and all that good stuff, but. Um, also, just buying plots of land. Land does sometimes increase in price, right? You can sit on that land for a year, two years, three years, five years, whatever. That land goes up in price. You put it up for sale. Um, you just have to, you know what I'm saying, be, keep in mind that you do have to pay taxes on land. You have to pay taxes on actual real estate uh, that you're buying. Um, I'm also invested in real estate, so that's why I know these things. Um, buying notes. That's one thing I like. Um, Eric Williams always talks about like tax liens, like uh, those. That's a type of note, right? A REIT is a type of note. Like it's it's not an actual, you know, what I'm saying, asset that you're buying. Uh, tax liens are like a uh, not. You're not buying the actual asset. You're buying the paper asset, right? <clears throat> People sell notes on houses. So if it's like if it's like someone uh, bought a house, right? Say you buy a house, you find someone who you fix the house up, and you find someone who wants to buy that house. So you bought the house for a hundred thousand, you fix the house up, now it's worth three hundred thousand, and you find someone who wants to buy it for three hundred thousand, right? Um, without really um, getting too crazy with it, say they buy the house from you for three hundred thousand. Um, now you are waiting like they're under contract contractual obligation to pay you to uh, to pay that house off right so say you sit on the house like you get you get two years of them making payments on that house right so you don't want to wait the next you know what i'm saying the rest of the term on the loan you don't want to wait that long what you can do is you can sell the rest of that time at a discount so say they owe you uh, $175,000, like that's left on the note, right? So you say you, I'll take it at a discount. You say you, I'll take 100000 or 95000 if I can get the money now and sell that, you know what I'm saying, the, the note to someone else and they can sit and wait for those payments to come through, right? So you just sell that piece of paper saying that now they owe you, this is how, how much you paid me for this piece of paper this is how much is left in debt that they have to pay you, the people who are buying the house. I love that idea. Um, you just have to make sure you're buying a note that is being paid on, you know what I'm saying? That they have a good history of making payments, you know what I'm saying? You don't just wanna go willy-nilly buying notes because um, not all notes, I forget like the, the right terms, but not all notes are like good notes, like some people they stop paying and then you have to go and, you know what I'm saying, re recover the home and um, <clears throat> now you're the owner of the house and you got to fix it and do all this stuff. Like, that's a little bit too much, right? So you have to do some research. But I love the, the like, idea of buying notes. Um, also, like, I think we talked about this earlier, selling a book, uh, selling a template. So, so you're good with graphic design, right? And you just have like a template website or a template blog post or a template uh, Instagram post. And that's just like you set up just like a generic uh, fill in the boxes, fill in the text. And then like it, it has graphics or whatever already on it. And you sell that to someone like I sell my website as a template. Right. And um, I've had people buy 
like the template for my website. So I just like copy my template, paste it on their site, and then just set it up. You know what I'm saying? They just fill in the blanks, all right? And I also sell the gra I sold graphics to the site as well. So I made the I already had the graphics kind of set up. It's like my template, like my brand, but it's with their um you know what I'm saying with with their stuff on it now though but you know what I'm saying it's just like setting it up to where it's easy to fill in you know what I'm saying easy to um it's I, I don't know why it's just weird weird explaining this but um just you know what I'm saying if it's it's just a generic template um and then just people just go in and put in like their pictures and whatever um let's see selling photos truckers are out and um there are websites that you can go on and you can sell photos. So if you're like a photographer, you have a you can buy a nice camera, you know what I'm saying, take some dope pictures. You can set up your own website and sell photos from your website. Um, but they already have like websites already set up where you can just upload the pictures and then just like you know what I'm saying, people can buy those and you can just keep selling the same pictures, right? And um that's a, another way, like I said, you take one picture, you sell it thirty times. You know what I'm saying? I think that's really dope. Um, digital products, if you're like me and you like to get, you know I'm saying, on these computers and make products, you have information that you want to talk about. A lot of people, before they were truckers, they were doing something else. So you still have that knowledge, right? And people might seek that knowledge and it's just something that you uh, weren't really passionate about, but you understand it. You can put a uh, digital product together, put an e-course, an e-book, whatever. Put it together, make a, uh, you know what I'm saying, a landing page, sell it, and keep it moving, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you don't even have to make it yourself. They have websites, like I said, like uh, Rakuten Advertisement, Advertising, that's R-A-K-U-T-E-N, Advertising, where they sell the licensing to books, or they, they have books on there where you can, um, you know what I'm saying, just different types of books. You can you can become an affiliate marketer for so you don't have to even make your own book or like Amazon. Um, if there's a book you enjoy reading and you just can't stop talking about this book, get the affiliate link off Amazon. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And just you could have a whole book club or a whole, you know what I'm saying? Just books that you post. Off. This is on stuff you can do like on Facebook and on Twitter, on Instagram. You can, you know what I'm saying? Put a link in your bio, a link tree book, a, a link tree in your bio, and then just. And on that page, all you do is talk about books, 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 books. Uh, you can make an Instagram page and just talk about trucking, 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 post trucking memes or whatever. And then you can sell um, shout outs on your page, right? I personally, I bought shout outs, you know what I'm saying? So I know it's something you can do. Um, let's see. One of my favorite things is um, as far as like just making money, extra money outside of the trucking industry. Uh, this is like more of a like legacy building thing is just like life insurance. Y'all know I like to talk about life insurance. Uh, if you have the right life insurance policy, a universal uh, life insurance with like a cash value option, I think that's what it is. And that's just like where you can have a savings account with your life insurance. And then you also have your life insurance policy is associated to that same policy or account or whatever. And um, I'm, not, I'm not the life insurance guys, but, but I understand like the concept and you know what I'm saying if you are looking to like if you're adding enough money to your life insurance you can use you can take out a loan against it and like buy a house and then you'll pay it back or you can buy land and then pay it back but it's like becoming your own bank right so look into that that's something that is able, you're able to do you know what I'm saying it's it's not impossible none of these things are impossible uh but <clears throat> like i said they are there's, there, it's all simple, but it's not easy. Uh, some of the also some of the alternate alternative investments that I did not mention, uh, like if you are interested in like buying art, like they have websites where you can invest in like exotic cars and art and things like uh, like that. You can find more information on, on that kind of stuff on like websites like Investopedia, uh, with Otis.com and Masterworks.io. Um, you can invest in just like just random weird stuff like um, Lamborghini Countaches and stuff like that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, like, subscribe, comment. Let me know 
Um, what are some of the ways that you guys uh, generate money outside of trucking? Um, <clears throat> and you know what I'm saying? Let's, let's keep this topic going. I'm really interested in what you guys think about um, just making more money because I, I feel like having more streams of income, uh, they say like the average millionaire has seven. I, I don't want <laughs> to be the average millionaire. You know what I'm saying? I, I want more than seven streams of income. Uh, you just really have to make sure you're keeping track of it. Um, you can use something like I said, the financial planner for truckers to keep track of all your um, streams, uh, budgeting, and also uh, just your goals, uh, your eating habits and stuff like that. Like all that, I've made sure to put in that book um, to cater to my truck drivers. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's your boy, Chris Lee. Signing out, deuces.